This is the first time that we have performed it in a space that has not been converted into a theater. And it's kind of a, a made up tale of class conflict and uh, murder um, that takes place in a, in a wealthy Halifax home. So doing the show here in the Halifax Club seems uh, uh, really appropriate. Part of what we're doing here is kind of figuring out how we can make this show fit in a room that's just a room, you know, there's no lighting grid, there's no sound equipment, but there are these very kind of appropriate elements uh, to the show. It, it feels like it could be a room in the house in which the show takes place. So uh, that's what we're doing, um, and it's, uh, it's kind of fun. The, initially, there are two large chandeliers in the room, which are great, and they work very well with the period. Uh, but if we were to light the show with only those two chandeliers, the center of the room was quite dark, and the whole space would be lit. There are only two 110 volt circuits, so we uh, sort of calculated what our maximum potential maximum load for the room is, and then plug things in and hope that we didn't blow anything. I set up four uh, lanterns that were used from the original production in four corners of the room, and the function that they serve is to bring the eye down, but also sort of also play with the period of the piece. I like the room, I like the sound of the room. Uh, I feel like we have to adjust our volume probably a little bit. We don't need to be as loud uh, or strong as we have been. But that's also really fun because it means that we can look for more nuance and um, subtlety in the performance. Kind of in the middle of the show, I have quite a lot of text that I say right to the audience and I make eye contact with a lot of people, so uh, I've been working on adjusting all of that to remember the people in the corners. I enjoy what I'm saying in that section, so it's kind of fun to be looking for people to be delivering the text to. And also, the space is smaller, so in other spaces that we played in, I've had to extend my movement to make sure I include people in other, spa in other parts of the space from where I am, but this, that is less challenging in this room. The other spaces uh, were historic spaces, but kind of had a lower class feeling to it. In the show there's the obviously uh, rich character and the obviously two poor characters. It's sort of an upstairs downstairs piece and the places we've played in so far have been more downstairs than upstairs. Here at the Halifax Club we're very much upstairs which is different because a lot of the action is uh, between the two poor people and, and the rich guy kind of comes in to their world, invades their world. Being in this space at the Halifax Club, it's like we've come into the magistrate's world and are doing our scenes in his world, which makes it feel slightly different. Like, we're intruding. We, I say we because I play the groundskeeper and my other we is Susan LeBlanc Crawford, who plays the scullery maid. So it's like the scullery maid and the groundskeeper have been let into the magistrate's grand hall with the fireplace and the chandeliers and the paintings and the grand piano uh, to act out their little scenes of frustration that usually take place in the depths of the manor downstairs. To know that we are in one room in a giant house, uh, in reality, which is, what ha what, which is what's happening in the show, is different than any other place we've performed. And so in a way, there's this feeling that there's a life going on outside of this room. You can hear dishes clanking, you can hear you know, people walking down the halls. Like, in a way, it, it operates more like uh, a site-specific piece of theater than, than in a, in a you know, traditional theater. I play Harold Linden in the show, and he is the, the son of the wealthy estate owner. He's the son who lives in the house and comes in kind of late in the play and kind of stirs everything up. My role is actually called the wind in this play. I basically play cello throughout. Uh, I'm kind of a narrator chorus sort of a character. 
and I moved through the space at one point and interact a little bit with the characters. The last time we did this show, I kind of thought of myself as a playful little girl observing this sort of story that's being told. There are some really like adult things in this play, so in a way, she's she is kind of taken aback by by some of it, but she also loves to to interact with the other characters and play with them and and affect them with the music. So that's space. That's what I do, uh, and I love it. It's actually been like an incredible pleasure to come and change it a little bit every day and see what happens here. It's great. Thank you.